Greetings everyone. In this video, I will present all the new features of SpeechNote 4.7 release. SpeechNote is a Linux desktop application that let you take, read, and translate notes in multiple languages. It uses speech to text, text to speech, and machine translation to do so. Text and voice processing take place entirely offline, locally on your computer, without using a network connection, so your privacy is always respected. SpeechNote 4.7 release comes with support for Vulkan GPU acceleration, rules for text transformations, echo mode, improved user interface, and many new models. All right, let's get started. To improve usability, instead of a list containing models of all types, models are grouped by type in separate tabs. These tabs are speech to text, text to speech, translator, and other. Setting page has been improved so the new general and advanced tabs are available. All the settings options have been grouped to make them easier to find. New command line options are available. To view a list of all currently supported command line options, use dash dash help. New options are dash dash print available models, dash dash print active model, and dash dash print state. Use dash dash print available models, or dash dash print active model, to list all available models, or the currently active model. To print the current status of the application use, dash dash print state. New command line options can be useful when integrating with external programs or widgets on the desktop. Moreover, all options are also available through the Dbus interface. New modes for inserting text at the cursor position or replacing the entire note. To insert text at the cursor position rather than at the end of the note, change text appending mode to add at the cursor position in the settings. When to replace an existing note option is set, whenever new text is added, it will replace the existing note. Support for Vulkan GPU acceleration and Whisper CPP. Vulkan acceleration enables much faster STT decoding with Intel, AMD, or NVIDIA graphics cards. With Vulkan, decoding is quicker than with OpenVINO, OpenCL, and Roxanne, but still may be slightly slower compared to CUDA. The biggest advantage of Vulkan is that you can use it without installing any GPU acceleration add-ons. If you are interested in fast and accurate speech-to-text, the current recommended setup is Vulkan with Whisper's CPP model. As a reminder, any hardware acceleration is not enabled by default. To use it, you need to separately enable it in the settings of each engine. Improved missing add-on warning message. When the Flatpak version is used, and the GPU add-on is not installed, a warning message is displayed. This message has been improved to also include information about what the add-on provides and how to install it using command line. Simplified SCT engine configuration options. Instead of multiple options, you can now select a profile, which allows you to change the engine's processing parameters. There are three profiles to choose from. Best performance, best quality, and custom. The default settings have been chosen to achieve the shortest ET decoding time, which may result in slightly worse accuracy in some cases. If you notice a deterioration in accuracy, change the profile to best quality. New Whisper Large Turbo Model for both Whisper CPP and Faster Whisper. Turbo is a finely tuned version of a pruned Whisper Large. It's the exact same model, except that the number of decoding layers have reduced. As a result, the model is way faster at the expense of a minor quality degradation. Echo mode. When echo mode is enabled, after processing, the decoded text will be immediately read out using the currently set text-to-speech model. Hello my friend, how are you doing today? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Status indication in the system tray icon. When using the system tray icon, statuses such as processing, listening, etc. are presented with an animated tray icon. Hello, how are you doing today? Hello, how are you doing today? New text to speech voices. New Piper voice for Latvian, a new whisper speech small model for English. Italian, German, French, Spanish, Dutch, and Portuguese. 
New translator models for English to Finnish, English to Turkish, English to Swedish, Swedish to English, English to Slovak, English to Indonesian, English to Romanian, English to Greek, Chinese to English. Option to scan special keystrokes when setting keyboard shortcuts. If you want to use special keys as shortcuts, so-called multimedia keys, instead of typing their names, you can automatically set the key by pressing it. Keyboard shortcuts enabled for several user interface elements. Elements such as menu items or buttons can be controlled using the keyboard shortcuts. Rules for text transformations that can be applied after speech to text or before text to speech. With rules, you can easily and flexibly correct errors in decoded text or correct mispronounced words. By default, several sample rules are already created to demonstrate how the text transformation works. You can turn them off or remove them if they are not needed. Rules are applied to text sequentially, starting from the rule at the top to the bottom. Text transformation is performed automatically in the background when text is received from the speech-to-text engine or before text is sent to the text-to-speech engine. New actions and global keyboard shortcut to force translation of text in STT. The decoded text is always translated into English when the translate action is triggered. New action to read text from the command line option. Start reading text. To pass text, use the dash dash text option in the command line interface. Alice has a cat. Improved insert into active window for STTT. Using action or a global keyboard shortcut, you can pass the decoded text to any active window on a desktop. This function did not work in all applications, but this problem has now been resolved. As a reminder, both insert into active window and global keyboard shortcuts are currently not supported on Wayland. Other changes include user interface fixes and updates to underlying libraries such as Whisper CPP, PyTorch, and Rockin. Thanks to an amazing community member, SpeechNotes user interface has also been translated into Slovenian. These are all the changes that came in the new version. If you want to find more details, check the change log inside an application or SpeechNote project website on GitLab or GitHub. Thank you for using SpeechNote. That's all for now and see you when the next version is released.